everyone, it's Dark Seeker here again. Welcome back for another video. Today I am playing a Hunter deck courtesy of Dewin and EK Designer. Um, I guess I, this deck looks like a control deck to a certain degree because uh, you've got cards like Sylvanas in the deck uh, along with Play Dead uh, and Nine Lives so you can start stealing enemy minions. Um, you've also got the Emperor in this deck to get some discounts on your cards. Um, so certainly um, this deck is somewhat on the slower side, I guess, when you take that into account. Um, the kinds of discounts you're looking to get are on Katrina, make it cost 7, and Die Frenzy, make it cost 3. You can play both of those on the same turn, which is pretty nuts. Katrina can bring out the likes of King Crush, um, uh, which when you cast Dire Frenzy on is just mental. Uh, so this deck can target slower control style decks, it can target Big Priest with Sylvanas, but at the same time you stand a good chance against Aggro because you've got Explosive Trap, you have the 2 damage AoE from Deathstalker Rexar. Um, you've also got Explosive Sheep, which I've actually featured in a previous video, and I'm a massive fan of that card now because I think it's highly underrated, and you could do serious work against aggro decks if you can pull off the Explosive Sheep Death Rattle once, but then again with Play Dead or again with Nine Lives, it's pretty amazing. So, all in all, this is a solid deck to play on the ladder. I think it has good matchups against a range of decks, whether it's Big Priest or whether it's against other aggro decks. So, let's have a look at it in action on the Wild Mode ladder with a selection of different games. And uh, we're going to start out against a mage. Now, to begin with here, I think I'm looking for what I would call... A minion presence. So mad scientist, uh, there's a mad scientist and um, we have a mech. Pretty good. We have a one, a two, into a three. Into a four, maybe. So we have to assume that um, this mage eventually is going to beat us down, the giants and flame wakers so I want to get ahead on the board as quickly as possible. So I'm going to pick uh, the minion presence there. Uh, three cost three three that draws me a mech feels pretty good. Let's start out with the scientist. And hopefully we can develop the, the two, three drops and start hitting his face before uh, he, he starts building up those spells in hand and those giants that will eventually kill us. Um, note that he didn't play the quest, which is interesting. So either he mulliganed it away or he's kept it in hand. Or he doesn't play it. One of those three options. But we're building up the board now. Um, we have Zilliax that's got Magnetic, so we can coin that out on turn four. Ooh, Flame Cannon. Very lucky there. Oh wow, there's the quest! And now we know what's coming. Yeah, Mana Cyclone. He was smart. Very, very smart there. He wanted to get the maximum value uh, on the cards back to hand from Mana Cyclone. So he held on to the quest until he was ready to play Mana Cyclone. Because the quest is a spell. That's pretty smart. Um. I'm still going with this line of developing a board presence and uh, putting him under pressure. So I think here that we can play the mech 
And I'm actually going to play play dead on the scientist just to get a secret out. And we get Wandering Monster. Now, that seems like a bit of a waste of play dead because there are other targets in my deck for it, like Sylvanas. But I don't know if this is going to be a game where Sylvanas and play dead get me much value. Katrina and play dead? Maybe. But that could be a long way away. Explosive Sheep and Play Dead is a possibility, but I don't think he's going to be going wide on the board with um, low health minions. So, getting value there from Play Dead on the Mad Scientist I think was fine. Now, I was hoping for a 3 health minion from Play Dead, um, but in the end it didn't matter because he had Volcanic Potion anyway. So. It's fine. My pack will hunt you down. Let's see how he deals with Houndmaster Shaw. Not that the rush effect is going to do a huge amount for me at this point in the game. But if he has removal, um, maybe I'd rather he use the removal here. Yeah. Polymorph from Mana Cyclone, pretty good. But he's used the removal, and now that frees me up to play something else that's big. Ziliax um, could be an option here. He'd have to ping it and then play a spell to remove it. But I've seen a Polymorph. Maybe we just play the Emperor. Initially I was reluctant with the Emperor because I'm thinking, is this the kind of hand that I really want to discount? The and uh, Snipe on the Flame Waker there is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That has slowed him down massively, you'd think. But the game's not over yet. Uh, he still has another Flame Waker in his deck and undoubtedly he'll have Giants too. Um, but yeah, going back to the Emperor discussion, would there have been a better hand to discount? Probably yes. Having Katrina and Dire Frenzy in hand for the discount, I think, is pretty useful. Um, well played. But this is still not too bad, right? And he hasn't killed the Emperor, which is really interesting. Because I can now kill his Sorcerer's Apprentice. So I have Ziliax. Yeah, Unity, Precision, Perfection. And we just chill. I don't think I've ever had a four-cost Deathstalker Rexile before. This is new to me. And quite fun, too. And, uh, oh look, there's Katrina. He's given me more cards in my hand that are going to benefit from a discount. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Still can't kill the Emperor. Or can he? At two damage. And then can he do it again? No? Okay. Well... Let's see what we get. That's pretty good. Let's do it again while we can. Oh, that's amazing. So earlier on, I used a play dead on a mad scientist, thinking that it'd be a long time until I could do it with Katrina. Well, we're in a good spot here. Unless he has a doomsayer. Yeah, shatter. So that means he doesn't have a doomsayer. Wow, he's using time warp in this spot. And that doesn't feel... That doesn't feel right. That feels like a desperation play. Oh, 
hello. Interesting. Um, yeah, he used time warp there. Usually they use time warp when they're about to kill you. But I'm still at 30 health. This beast will not be tamed. Okay, no time for games. Take her. Hunt alone. Maybe I should have kept that um, that first play dead that I played. It would have been useful here with Sylvanas, but that's okay. I was saying earlier that I really wanted a minion presence on the board um, against him, and I guess I've got my wish. This is quite the presence. But here he goes with the Flame Waker. Of creation. Behold the tools of creation. And um Is this the turn where the Emperor dies? Finally. Yeah. We say goodbye to the Emperor, who was kind enough to give us a two-cost Deathstalker Rexar. That's pretty nuts. So shuffling some buffed grizzlies into our deck. This beast will not be tamed. It's not the same as shuffling in King Crushers that are buffed, but it'll have to do. It's still pretty strong. Six attack, eleven health. Pretty nuts. So, this is the last Flame Waker. And unless there are giants to come, it looks like he is hedging his bets on this Flame Waker doing work. But, there's a Sylvanas on the board. Behold the tools of creation. And maybe, just maybe, Behold we're going to be able to steal something good here. Creation. Conjurer's calling, doing serious work for him. And now his board more than rivals my board. Behold the tools this card draw is absolutely insane and Mana Cyclone, wow. Guess he doesn't want to draw any more cards. But there's the giants. Well, one giant. And all of a sudden, the tables are turning. Just like that. But we have this Sylvanas here. Let none survive. So we're guaranteed now to steal a big threat from his board. That's good. And we're guaranteed to steal one more. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, two cost Deathstalker Rexar. Sure. I mean, we play it. We can kill off his giant. Which I think is pertinent. I guess we go with whatever's cheap here. Um, yeah, six cost. Web spinner, strangle thorn tiger combo feels pretty amazing. And it has stealth, which is great. Of 
So, he's nearly out of options. Both Flame Wakers are gone. There is still one more giant to come. But so far, we've done a, a good job, I think, of keeping him at bay. Alright, there's the other giant. What is he looking for here? Interesting. Thank you. Six attack, 15 health. Yeah. Well played. Okay. We're going to look at a series of highlights here against a big priest. And of course, he gets Barnes on four with Yashraj. So, skipping forward, Sylvanas there, a natural counter to Big Priest in many ways, but when they've managed to get Vargoth on the board, I mean, you're just, you're going to struggle, particularly when your Sylvanas steals the Barnes, right? So you try again, and we get the Vargoth, now that's pretty good. Because now, nine lives will go off again. Behold. Yes, behold indeed. And that's pretty amazing. So, at this point, we sort of swing back and forth. Yashraj into Yashraj is pretty nuts. No time for games. But we have no time for games. And um, I then realized that, ah, oh, we've got his Vargoth. Play dead, we'll cast again. Behold, and we steal the Yashraj. So, how? Do you lose from this position? Right, we've turned the tables on the big priest. How do you lose? Well, it's a big priest, right? So after thinking for a bit, right, we, use, we lose a Yashraj. That's okay. He plays KT. Which seemed a little pointless. Until you realise that, oh, okay, it's just brought back a bloody statue. I taste fear. So, we have to kill the KT, undoubtedly. And it seems like we're in a good position now because we've taken back control of the board. And we push eight to the face. So we're back to controlling the board again. And we ask the question again. How does he counter this? How does he get back into the game? Well, it's a big priest. So of course, Mass Hysteria. So, he doesn't completely clear the board. Quite hit the mark. But, he's come close. And it's at this point where you start to despair a little. Because, he's now got a statue down. Dire Frenzy looking pretty appealing on the King Crush. However, as the turns go on, and you know that more of those statues are going to get resurrected, um, 
Charging King Crush is going to struggle to connect with his face. So all he needs now are a couple more res effects and we'll be in trouble. Alright, Yashraj. Into a spell stone. Oh dear. And he's still pulling minions from his deck. That's so unfortunate. I don't see how I beat this board. We tried our best. We got value from Sylvanas. We did try, really. But even with a Sylvanas that can rush, I don't think it's anywhere near enough here. Oh, and that is so unfortunate. The ordering there didn't quite hit the mark, didn't quite hit the mark clearly. I couldn't attack in with Sylvanas. But I'm not sure if that in itself would have done enough anyway. Because knowing our luck, if we'd managed to kill her off, we'd probably still steal Barnes, right? That, that's what's going to happen to us. But yeah, double Yashiraj on board, that's 20 attack. Hmm. Plus a hit from Rag. There's not really anything we can do. Yeah. And that is just game over. It's so unfortunate because we worked so hard to counter him. And it didn't work out. But anyway, let's move on now and look at a final game against a hunter. Now this is certainly a little bit more fun than taking on a big priest because we're facing a hunter that's going to be a tad more aggressive on the early turns. So we're going to be fighting for the board here. Yeah, speaking of aggressive, scavenging hyena. And if we let that get out of control, our face is going to take a real hammering. Hyena is really going to grow here. If only we had Wandering Monster in play. And that is eight to the face. Oh look, there, there it is. Where were you last turn? Let's hope that he doesn't have something that can charge at our face here from hand. On a positive note, moving forward, we do have the Witchwood Grizzly. So, assuming of course, unleash the hounds. Oh, he doesn't go face. That's interesting. That's really, really interesting. So now, we can start to make our comeback. Nine health on the Grizzly. Pretty good. In an emergency situation, we do have the sheep and the play dead. So that is a four damage AoE. And um, I've just picked Snipe over King Crush. And you may look at that 
and think I'm crazy. But in this matchup, I think Snipe holds a lot of value. Because against the low cost beast that he plays, um, Snipe can just kill one of them off straight away. And in terms of buying tempo on the board, buying control of the board, I think that's so important. Now, at this rate, when we play Katrina, we're not probably not going to get any beasts out onto the board because King Crush is gone. We've played both Grizzlies. So Katrina is just an 8 cost 6-6. Six, six. And there's the value of Snipe. That feels pretty good. Could have ordered that slightly differently. But then who plays around Snipe in this day and age? Okay. So, 8 cost 6-6. Six, six. Look at the value. But now we're making our comeback. We're at a respectable health total. We have Deathstalker Rexa on hand. We still have our sheep play dead combo if needed. But I want to save that for a real emergency. Ordering there. A little bit suspect, I think. So I guess, I guess we look for something else useful in our deck. Um, Sylvanas seems fine. And now we clear the board. So another line of play would have been to have played Rexar and then played our zombie beast hero power. I don't think it was needed on that turn. Um, we're in such a good position overall, given our health total. Now, he knows there are no more beasts left in the deck. Right, give us something good. Crawler is cheap. Um, it's between the Mastiff and the Grizzly. I have no time for games. At least we get the Echo effect now on the Mastiff, so that seems fine. Yeah. So if he does have anything big in hand, like a Savannah High Main maybe, maybe Sylvanas will discourage him from playing it. And it's interesting, he's targeting Sylvanas here with the weapon. So I'm going to assume he has, what, Kill Command? Or a Quick Shot? No, On the Hunt? Into Baited Arrow! Wow! And which one do we steal? We stole the good one. Hmm. Well I can see. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Notice how playing against another hunter is much more fun than playing against another big priest. Now this deck overall has been a lot of fun to play. Um, I love the Play Dead Nine Lives interactions with Sylvanas. I love the use of the Emperor in this deck. Yes, you may argue it's a little bit slow, um, but if you can get at least one turn of discounts off, you can do some pretty amazing things with Die Frenzy and Katrina. 
So, um, yeah, pretty cool. I love the balance of uh, de defensive and aggressive play that you can get with this deck because with cards like um, Mad Scientist, with um, the Ursatron and Houndmaster Shaw, you can get an aggressive stance, an aggressive board going quite early that your opponent has to work hard to beat. But you do have defensive plays with Explosive Trap, Explosive Sheep, and then you've got the big plays late in the game with King Crush, Sylvanas, Katrina, Dire Frenzy on your King Crush. And then, of course, if that all fails, Deathstalker Rexar, Zombie Beast Value. So all in all, it feels like this deck can be pretty versatile. Um, it can push the aggression, but at the same time, you can play defense. And often when you play defense with this deck, i.e. with Sylvanas play dead, uh, nine lives, and you start stealing big threats, you then become the aggressor because you steal all their threats and then you can start pushing big damage to their face. Unfortunately, against the big priest, it didn't quite work out for me because every time I'd steal a load of stuff, he'd then just start resurrecting a load of stuff. And in the end, he won out in that battle, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but I have played a couple of games against big priest with this deck that weren't recorded, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I was still able to win because... Um, they didn't get Barnes on four. And by the time they played Shadow Essence, I had a Sylvanas and a play dead with a coin uh, ready to go and I was able to steamroll them from there. Um, it seems that Barnes on four is a problem because once the minion that Barnes summons is killed off, they just start going crazy with those resurrection effects and there really isn't much you can do. But anyway, give the deck a try. Um, I know Duwin, uh, Duwin swears by this deck, and I think it's brought him a good amount of success. So give it a try, and if you've got any feedback, please leave it in the comments section below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below, and I'm sure that Duwin will get back to you and respond to your questions like he always does. And EK Designer too, who I know... Um, works extensively with Duwin to test out these decks and um, you know I, I know his input has been very significant so I'm sure that EK will also respond to any questions that you guys have. So thank you very much for joining me everyone I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all again very soon as always for more Wild Mode Fun.